Uh, I really welcome everybody. This is really an exciting day for Elio and uh, an exciting day for suppliers. And uh, I'll make this very quick, but how I got involved a couple years ago, I had a meeting with Paul and we started talking about a few things. My old buddy Kurt introduced us and started out, you know, and I said, boy, you know, and this didn't, you know, three wheel car didn't turn me on. And then we started talking more and his business model of working with suppliers and really having a partnership. After being in the supplier business for 37 years, I thought, you know, this guy gets it. And uh, that is very, very important. It is a relationship that's open and positive, and we know how it gets in the OEM supplier business, how it turns around, somebody will come in, develop a good relationship, and somebody else comes in and says, you're making too much money. I mean, we've all been through all that stuff, and his model is unbelievable. Being a part of the business, being in early, being open, you're the supplier, and you're going to be here. And that's the way we want it. And that business model really turned me on. And then I, I got past that and I thought, wow, I, I, I like this approach. I like what he's done so far. And then I thought, three-wheel car. And he said, sounds weird. And so I, you know, I just said, I'm skeptical. And then I saw it and I drove it. And I thought, wow, this thing is something. And it really is. I mean, it's a product that'll sell itself. So we really appreciate your support over the years, the suppliers, everyone, and the team. He has a dedicated team that have been working for nothing, just trying to get this thing off the ground. I mean, this guy comes into town and stays in my basement or somebody's basement. I mean, he but I, he hasn't stayed in my basement yet. It's not nice enough for him, but uh, no, but I'm serious. This is what he's done to sacrifice over the years. It's been a passion and it's really paying off. And as you know, the interest has picked up. Uh, this is the second model, and it's really a significant improvement, even though it didn't need improving from a styling point, but, it, but it's very well done. And we're very excited about it, and I just want to say thank you. And we are dedicated to supply base to keep this relationship the way it is. We don't want any gamesmanship. We don't want to try and outdo one another or pull any tricks. Let's keep it open, keep it positive. And that will make this product go. And this is an all-American product. It's got uh, a lot of American content, but more than that, it's traditional content, stuff that works. This isn't a wish and a dream. It's stuff that's been done for years in vehicles. And that's very, very important. And that's what turned me on, too. You don't have a lot of development. It's a more of a packaging. Package this thing right, get it going, and it works. So I just, that's my comments, and I just thank you again. And Paul, congratulations to you and your team for everything you've done to make this happen. The other thing, just kind of cute, old friend of mine, Jim Holden, and I, he's, we, we both drove it and rode it the first time, and Jim's an advisor too. And, uh, you know, we were just talking about it, and it's got to be weird. He is a real car guy and a product guy, and he fell in love with it. I mean, it's just, and he, he couldn't get up here uh, I talked to him yesterday, he couldn't make it up, but uh, he's very proud of it, and uh, his endorsement helped sell me, too. So that's kind of it. And our, our good friend, Brooks Patterson. Brooks, it's good to see you. You're a heck of a friend over the years, and I've known you a long time, and uh, uh, we appreciate you being here to support this project. And uh, also, uh, if you'd like some comments, I can bring the mic over there, or you want to come up here, whatever you want to do. Let's give Brooks a little applause. He's a hell of a Thank you so much, uh, Ken, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, was introduced to this uh, product, this car, a couple months ago, and I've been waiting for this day because yeah, this, I think, first of all, it's exciting. So it's going to, I think, take the market by storm, but to have it associated with uh, the county I represent, uh, we like to think we're innovative and creative uh, here in Oakland County, and I think we are, and this is proof of it. Uh, I just came down to wish you all well with the launch, and uh, we'll be keeping an eye on anything we can do from the county to support uh, your efforts here. Please call on us. Y'all have a good day. Well, thank you, uh, Ken and, and Brooks, and uh, thanks for everybody showing up. I uh, really appreciate it. And, you know, today is really about the supply base more than about the vehicle, you know, because that really is the story in Elio Motors. Um, 
we've created the vehicle in a unique way. Uh, the way this has been designed is through a series of what we call supplier summits. So once every four weeks, we get the entire supply base together for three days here at Altair, and we work on the vehicle as a group. And then we make commitments on what we're going to get done between then and the next time, break apart and repeat. Um, because at the end of the day, we'll never know much about seats as Lear. You know, we're not going to know as much about drive chain as IAV. And so bring these guys in and let them help us make the decisions rather than telling them what to do. And, and, it, and it reaps huge benefits. And, you know, people say you are what you eat. And I, that's probably true for folks. And for vehicles, you are what you're made of. And we have the, the who's who of the North American supply base. Um, we are, are targeting 95% North American content on this vehicle. You know, it's, a, it's an American company designed in Oakland County and, and built in America with American parts. You know, this is a truly American car company. Um, <clears throat> I, I had an interesting conversation with one of the suppliers today. It looks like it's, it's a two-way street. And he said that they have a new vocabulary now that they've been saying uh, they're going to do it ELEO style. And they, they believe that they have won new business uh, recently because of taking an ELEO style approach to, to that customer. So uh, we're, we're learning from each other for sure. Um, we don't have time to introduce all the suppliers. We have over 20 that uh, uh, are engaged currently. But we want to introduce four that I think are representative of, of the whole. And the first is Altair. Um, and that's uh, this Altair's facility. ELEO's headquarters is, is in another Altair facility about two miles away. Um, I've been doing business with them for a long time. As a budding engineer, I was a user of their software. Um, as an owner of an engineering services company, I was a customer and then eventually became their biggest installation in Arizona. So when it was time to outsource the engineering, there, there was one logical place. Um, <clears throat> Altair is currently a supplier to every major OEM, providing engineering consulting services as well as cutting edge uh, engineering software. I've always been a big fan of their optimization package and their approach to new product development. Um, and I'd like to introduce uh, Joe Sorovitz, Executive Vice President of the Americas. So good morning, everyone. And uh, as Paul said, thank you uh, for the nice words. Welcome to our world headquarters here at Altair. Um, just real quickly, I, I wanted to maybe say a couple words about Altair, but I think it was about four months ago I had the pleasure of addressing many of you here um, at the first Supplier Summit. And uh, obviously that, that event celebrated bringing together this supplier group, this elite supplier group, and, and being introduced in a way that is, is relatively new to many of us. So we're very excited about this. And since then, all of us have really come together as a cohesive team uh, working to bring Paul's dream to reality. So thank you for that. Um, just a quick couple words about Altair. I've been asked many times, Altair, Altair, who's Altair? So, you know, Altair, is, it's an interesting company in a sense that we were founded in 1985 as an engineering services company. And then from then, from there have, have grown significantly over these 20 years to become a market leader in not just engineering services, but also into, into the uh, consulting uh, technology software. So uh, today we're a truly global company, offices throughout 19 countries worldwide, uh, sales exceeding 250 million. So uh, we have a really uh, become a market leader in this space, um, and we are headquartered right here in the uh, and where it all began in the heart of the American automotive industry. So uh, just moving on, our philosophy at Altera, you'll see, is, is, is typed everywhere, is innovation intelligence. And I, I'd like to say that these are not just words on paper, but they're core values that run through all the persons within Altair. And the innovation of technology and methods, plus the sharing and the collaboration of this knowledge with our business partners, helps to create the changing products that we're here to talk about today. So. I'm here representing Altair Product Design, which is our consulting services division and a partner of, of, of Elio here as the, as the engineering arm. And we're very, very proud to see Paul's vision really come into reality. The five-star safety rating, you know, even though the federal government doesn't require it for a three-wheel a three -wheel vehicle, very important. Uh, the, the, the 84 miles per gallon um, supporting our partner IAV here by, by you know, reducing weight, increasing and optimizing aerodynamics. These are all important pieces of this puzzle. So in closing, again, I'd like to welcome you here and thank the team of suppliers and those that, that we, we aren't going to hear from today um, to being part of this special event. And we hope to see you all in Shreveport approximately one year from now uh, for, for the launch of a remarkable vehicle. Again, thank you all for your attendance, and uh, please feel free to come to contact us and make yourselves at home. All right, thank you.
So thanks, Joe. Um, I turned it off. Oh. There we go. Um, thanks, Joe. Uh, also, I forgot to mention that uh, on our website, uh, simultaneously with this press conference, uh, there's a list of all the other suppliers. Because like I said, we can't introduce everybody at the same time. So there's a picture of the vehicle with all the logos surrounding it so you can get to know uh, the other folks that, that uh, we're not introducing live today. Um, the, the next supplier we'd like to introduce is IAV. They are our drivetrain partner. Uh, IAV is a global automotive engineering consultancy leading the industry with expertise for the entire vehicle and specifically in fuel efficient powertrain development. Um, it's a natural fit for Elio to partner with IAV given the company's current focus and involvement in fuel efficiency targets. IAV's customer list includes but not limited to Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Volkswagen, Bugatti, Bentley, and now Elio. And I'd like to introduce uh, Chris Milmas, uh, Vice President of Product Development. <laughs> Well, thanks, Paul. We're very happy to be here um, to, to enjoy this, uh, this very significant event and uh, really historic milestone for the transportation industry. IV is very proud to partner with, uh, with Elio as we make this uh, exciting, highly fuel efficient and safe um, method of transportation a reality. We, uh, we work with, uh, e excuse me, we work with Elio and we're very much aligned in terms of our philosophy to develop new innovations to reduce fuel consumption, reduce emissions uh, for the transportation industry and create this in, with the highest safety standards. We're enjoying our relationship with the ELEO team as we share our philosophies of extending boundaries and creating new thinking. And this is where the description, as Paul put it, of using the ELEO style to develop new business came from. <coughs> We're a global organization that create advanced technologies and innovation for the entire vehicle. In this case, our focus is on the fuel efficiency of the vehicle. And in, while in many, many cases in the industry there are new ideas and strategies for delivering these, uh, these challenges, IEV has clear methodologies for delivering on our ideas to meet the, meet the expectations of Elio and his uh, end users. IEV in North America is part is an affiliate of the IEV Group headquartered in Berlin, and while we can uh, we will operate independently of the German organisation, we can call upon the resources and more than 5,000 specialists to uh, extend the capabilities of our group in North America. We <coughs> excuse me. We use these this expertise to to support our five business groups: that of gasoline, diesel transmission hybridization, design integration, and vehicle systems. And as a result, we're going tremendously in this region. We've quadrupled our sales over the last four years and increased our workforce by a factor of three. And we're looking forward to uh, increasing this trend in the future. In fact, the industry will grow uh, more quickly with the, uh, the creative thinkers of Paul and others in the Elio group. And so thank you again for including IAV in this exciting uh, vehicle development project. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> the next supplier I'd like to introduce is NewTek3. They are a wire harness supplier. Um, NewTek3 has been with Elio since the very beginning. I think August of uh, 2008 on, uh, they've been working with us to, to get, bring this home. Um, New Tech 3 exemplifies the American spirit designing and manufacturing wire harnesses here in, in the U.S. Uh, in the Detroit metro area. Um, like the other si suppliers involved, they also supply the big guys and they have been critical to the evolution of our product. I'd like to introduce Jack Long, uh, New Tech 3's president. Thank you, Paul. As Paul mentioned, I'm Jack Long, New Tech 3, and we are the uh, wire harness uh, manufacturer for Elio Motors. And as Paul mentioned, we go back since 2008. And why were we at the table? Because we believe in that particular dream, the American dream. And like Paul and his company, New Tech 3, we are that same type of company. We believe in supporting workers right here in Michigan. Uh, our goal was always to be as a local company. And that's one of the reasons why Paul chose us. In addition to our philosophies are very similar. That is putting American workers back, putting the talent back to work with the American people. And as Paul and everybody has mentioned, one of the benefits of working with Edio Motors is that open conversation, the ability to share ideas, the ability to quite frankly learn from one another, 
the ability to take our talents and not stifle them, but actually, quite frankly, ask us what they should be doing versus dictating what we want to do. So we want to thank Paul for that openness. We have a team here at uh, New Tech 3 that is innovative, that has been bright, that has been attentive, and that's one of the reasons why we're also chosen. And as Paul mentioned, we deal business with the big three and everybody else also, but unlike everybody else, this is the true American dream. As we talked earlier, it's, we're excited about being here, seeing something that is launched from cradle to grave, especially being one of the first guys at the table also. So <clears throat> our commitment is strong. Our commitment is to not only Paul and his workers, but to the American people, the fact that we are going to make this thing happen. And we're going to do it together. And we're excited about that opportunity. Think about it. A car, 84 miles a gallon, under $7,000. Everybody can have one, and that's the beauty and that's the dream. So we want to thank everybody for your attention. We want you to go out and get one. So as soon as they come out the, the lot, we want everybody here signed up for one because you're going to need it. It is what, we, what we're supposed to do, and that's what American people are supposed to do, and that's what we're going to do. Thank you, Paul, for bringing us on board, and we look forward to joining you down the road. Thanks, Jack. And the uh, last supplier we'd like to introduce is uh, Kamau. Um, they are our automation partner. Um, no matter how well it's engineered at the end of the day, you got to build it. And Gino, our VP of manufacturing, never lets us forget that. Manufacturing <laughs> 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 systems, innovative, sustainable automation, and service solutions. Uh, they have over 40 years' experience and a strong history in the automotive industry. One out of every three vehicles in the world are manufactured with Kamau technology. Uh, so they got an idea how to do this. Um, so let me introduce uh, Kirk Goings, Chief Operating Officer of the NAFTA region. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today. Uh, I have to say that uh, when we talked about a press conference, being from a, uh, a manufacturing company, the first thing we think of is, okay, what plant stopped running and who's in trouble? Because the only time we ever get in front of people is when things are all bad. So uh, the ELEO process of working with suppliers is a little different than our, our experience traditionally, and we're very excited to be here. Paul mentioned our, uh, you know, our pedigree in manufacturing. We build uh, capital equipment and manufacturing systems for people, and we do it in the powertrain and the body and assembly and all of the manufacturing process associated with it, including some other industries like aerospace, heavy equipment. Uh, I did happen to put my order down on one, so I'm, I, I'm a contributor. So as an uh, invested member of the ELEO family, we're, we're very excited to be here. As an organization, um, our name is not uh, usually out in front like this, but we're about a $1.5 billion uh, provider of uh, automation solutions. We have 23 plants in 13 countries and over 13,000 employees. We've been doing this a long time. We launch vehicles. Um, maybe not every week, but at least every uh, quarter, we are responsible for one or two manufacturing system launches with uh, all the largest customers you can think of in the automotive business. So very proud to be here and uh, happy to be part of the ELEO team, and thank you very much. Thanks, Kirk. <clears throat> and uh, our last speaker tonight, or uh, today, is uh, Stu Lichter. He's also a, a board member. Uh, he financially backed us on the acquisition of the Shreveport site and has been a great advisor. Stu. Thank you. Uh, I'm not a supplier and I'm not a car guy, so let me kind of back up and tell you why I'm here and what excites me. You know, number one, the car is cool, but there's a lot of cool cars. Tesla's a cool car but Tesla's $80,000. This car is under $7,000. It's gonna get over 80 miles per gallon, and it's cool. So somebody like me would want it, but that's not what excites me. What excites me is how significant this car could be for America, not only because it's sourced in America and it works in America, but because what it could do for the poor people in this country. One of the biggest problems you have is mobility. There's tens and tens of millions of people who every day get up and don't know whether their car is going to get them to work or don't have a car that's going to get them to work. This is half the price of the cheapest car in America, and it's going to be sold with 
a credit card that anybody could walk into the dealer and be given a credit card secured by the car with a $300 credit limit and they walk out of the dealer with a car with a three year, 36,000 mile warranty and have not put up a penny. When they charge the gasoline, they pay three times the, t the pump price of the gasoline and the additional payment on the gasoline is their car payment. So think about that. A poor person goes in, trades in their car, keeps the money, and walks out with a brand new car. And when they go to the pump, because the car gets more than three times the mileage they got, they're not paying any more money than they were paying for the car that wasn't getting them to work. That's what excites me. What excites me is this is the most effective program to, to help jobs and help people who need help in this country that I've seen. Um, and with that, we'll go back to unveiling how cool it is that those aren't the only people who will want it. I want it. So, <laughs> so, so I, I've never seen a product that would appeal to both ends of the market as strongly as this product. So with that, Paul and I will unveil the, unveil the car.